Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've made a Bronco video, so I think we're due. Um, I just heard that my local Ford dealer here in Sioux City received their first Bronco Raptor, and I have not seen one of those up close yet, so I wanted to take a look at that. And then I also heard they took a uh, Bronco First Edition in on trade, so I also want to take a peek at that, so let's go check them out. All right guys, there it is. The first edition Bronco Cactus Gray even. This thing would have been, if money was no object, the one I would have wanted two years ago for sure. Because that is what we're missing. The hard top. I wish we had the hard top. Hard top and the only other thing that I really miss is the auto climate control which this has. So that would be nice. And it does have like the fake leather seats. So those would be nice to have. I don't know if... Uh, It'd be worth trading in the big bend and jumping up 30,000 in price just to have a first edition. It's crazy though, they did not drive this thing. It has 135 miles on it, that's it. So it's just been sitting around for two years. Got some nice aftermarket steps on it though. Kind of like those. Sasquatch got all the goodies with the first edition. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think? Would I be crazy to trade in the Big Ben for the first edition? So you know it's not going to hold its value. Eventually it's going to go down. And 73,000 is a little steep yet because I think they stickered for around 68. So still got a little bit of a markup on that. So let me know. Yes or no, trade in the Big Ben for the first edition. It would be nice to have that hard top. There it is, guys. Check that thing out. It is a monster in person. Those 37-inch tires look way bigger in person. And those gaudy fender flares. They at least did the right color. I think if you were going to do one of these... Raptors, the plastic fenders just look weird on the brighter colors, but I think it actually goes way better, the black, gloss black on the flat black fenders. Man, this thing wouldn't fit in our garage, it is too tall for sure. But I do like the wide, the wide look in those vented fenders. Vented hood. Very, very cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you a fan of the Raptor? Or would you just go with the regular Bronco and do your own mods? Got some cool Raptor seats you can't see with the glare there. They'll let us get in here. Take a quick peek. Ooh, it does smell nice. Actual leather seats with the inserts. Kind of a weird insert there. Interior is way better than the Big Bend. <laughs> Paddles. <laughs> Paddle shift on your Bronco. It's pretty wild. Maybe we need to get one so we match with the GT350. <laughs> Very cool, guys. A little bonus footage for you guys. We came to look at Broncos, but they've got a GT500 track pack sitting on the floor. <laughs> Not my choice of colors, but I think it's still sweet. This 
sticker on that guy. That's one expensive Mustang, is it not? You thought the brakes on my 350R were big. That is insane. The size of that caliber. <laughs> I still wish my 350R, I wish they would have done the exposed carbon, it looks so good. <laughs> Alright guys, well that uh, is a quick look at the uh, Bronco Raptor and a first edition Bronco. And over there's a, a Big Bend, so <laughs> I don't know that we'll trade the uh, Big Bend off on the uh, first edition, but uh, it's a nice thought get that hard top and all the uh, options but uh, thanks for tuning in again guys stay tuned for some uh, more videos as the weather warms up we've had a pretty rough winter here in the Midwest so once spring uh, finally gets here we'll be getting some more reviews in on the Tesla and uh, some of the other cars so have a good one